Now, the first thing you have to do is to get your library data imported into Music One. There are three ways to do that. You can import from a text file. Uh, Music One also has a built-in function to import from a properly prepared comma-separated file. Or, if your library is comprised entirely of MP3 files, M1 has a built-in tag reader that can import that data directly. I've posted videos about those other two ways to get the job done. This tutorial shows how to import MP3 tags. Many people confuse file names with tags. There is a difference. I'm using MediaMonkey here to help explain. MediaMonkey is a combination media player and tag editor. The basic version of MediaMonkey is free, and I uh, recommend that you get that or some other tag editor to check and correct your tags before you start to import data into Music One. MP3 tags are like a little database, a little file that contains extra information about the MP3 audio file itself. These headings show the names of each of the data fields. You don't necessarily have to have data in all of these fields. The important ones are artist, title, length, and the path with the file name. Music One must have data in those four fields in order to import and create a song card. For non-music units, such as liners, voice tracks, jingles, and programs, the tag has to have title, length, and the path file name. If a non-music audio file doesn't have anything in the artist field, that's okay. Music One will import the data and create one of our non-music cards for it. Almost always, your file name will include the title and the artist, but that does not necessarily mean the title tag or the artist tag will contain the proper information. Here's an example. The audio file is Beach Boys, do it again, .mp3. The artist tag field is correct, but in the title tag field, I have Beach Boys, do it. This needs to be corrected before importing into Music One. Another thing to check and to avoid is duplicate copies of the same song. Here you see I have two copies of All Day Music by the group War. This is the same song, but the file name is slightly different. This one has a space on either side of that dash, and this one does not. You need to avoid having Music One import and create two song cards with exactly the same title and artist. With Media Monkey here, I can do a right click and I can delete one of them. Another thing to look for and to correct is an artist tag that contains two artist names. The song Rockin' Good Way was a big hit in its day by a duet, Brooke Benton and Dinah Washington. If I import this data as it is, M1 will create one new artist named Brooke Benton and Dinah Washington. Now that would be okay if this was the only song in the library by these two singers, but in my oldies library I have other hit songs by both Brooke and Dinah, as solo singers. I'll want Music One to separate this duet from those solo songs by both Brooke and Dinah. What I need to do is to put only one artist name here in the tag. After I import the data, Music One will have a song card with Brooke Benton as Artist One, and I can then manually type Dinah Washington into the Artist Two field on that song card, and that will enable Music One to easily separate the duet from solo songs by both artists. So remember now, before you start, before you do anything, correct your MP3 tags. It'll save a lot of time in the future if you do it.